What is going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to SnowRunner. So I got this game. I am super addicted to it, and I just want to showcase it because you know this might not seem like your kind of game, but I think it, you might be surprised. You might be surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna continue my game. We did stream this over on Twitch.tv/Z1Gaming. Uh, it was an absolute blast. I played with um, with one of our admins. It was a good time. So we're gonna hop in here. Like I said, I've already played this. I already done some stuff. Um, and yeah, it's just a fantastically good little time. Okay, hold on, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, so we have our vehicles, wonderful. Now, basically what you do uh, is you have different types of vehicles. You start with whatever, if you get, uh, I think if you get the, the premium pack, that's the one where I got this guy. This thing is a beast. And we're gonna be rocking this guy today because I wanna do some explorational things. Um, this guy is a beast, I'm gonna tell you that right now. It can go pretty much anywhere that I've thrown at it, but um, this also does not have a, um, it doesn't have any really storage options. So we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring with this guy, but then we're going to hop over to this guy and we're going to be doing, uh, some of the, like the little actual missions and whatnots. So let's go ahead. Let's deploy and, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, I'm super excited. But again, I'll have a link down below. It is through Epic game store. You can use my creator code. It shoots a little bit back to me. So, uh, I do appreciate it if you guys use that, but uh, oh, hold on. Let's customize. Uh, let's do some paint real quick. So uh, you can customize your vehicles. So you can change your engines, gearboxes, suspensions, tires, winches, spare tires, all kinds of different things. And different vehicles have different add-ons and whatnots. Um, let's go with. Oh, yeah. Let's go with that one. Let's apply that color. That looks good. I like it. All right. And then let's leave the garage. So it is a fairly open map design. Uh, you can go into your map. You can kind of see what we got going on here. Now, it looks like a lot at first, but there are... Um, there's there's watchtowers that you actually unlock so you can see this whole area is like blacked out now if i drive close to it it kind of lo it looks like this it starts graying it out but to actually like engage it and like fully make it like nice and colorful and have all the things and stuff like all the little missions and deals you're going to want to get these watchtowers so we're going to make our way over there um and then actually yeah we're going to make our way over there but there's different types of missions as you can see all through here um i have some custom waypoints i already put in here we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those but let's get over here and uh yeah let's have a good time oh my gosh i gotta tell you though it is so much fun i i just i can't even tell you uh you get to play in the mud you get to have a good time it's just it's just a wonderful time all right let's go ahead and turn the lights on here we got a little bit of mud this one's like nothing though this this puddle right here this ain't even a thing this guy goes right through this no problemo but as you uh, as you play and get other vehicles and things like that, there's going to be things you're looking for, because if you have a bigger vehicle, well, guess what? You're going to be dealing with mud still in that big vehicle. Uh, so like, you know, all wheel drive, differential locks, things like that. It's they're all wonderful little add ons and additions and things you're going to want to keep an eye out for. But uh, we have a little bit of a ways to go. So I'm going to bring you back once we get a little bit closer and start getting towards the uh, that watchtower. Now, one thing about the map is it's fairly uh, it's it's like it's big open worldy ish to a point so this bridge right here is actually when you when you first hop in the game this is the first thing that you fix you, you go you get the load of stuff to fix this bridge so this bridge is good to go but you can see like this bridge that bridge is not good uh there's a bridge right here that's out and things like that so it's fun in the or there's like road blockages so once you fix these things that then opens routes for you to get around a little bit easier and stuff like that so uh it's pretty neat it's pretty neat and then you also have three complete maps so we're playing in michigan right now um alaska is like the first wintry one and then this one like i haven't even been here so i don't i don't know where this is but um that actually looks kind of cool so we might have to check that out at some point too uh but alaska looks neat but we're uh we're gonna run this mission i want to get this last i think this is the last watchtower for this area right there i think now i did notice that there's an upgrade right here so i am gonna try to mark that out i could go this way but every time I've gone this way, I've had really, really bad luck. <laughs> well, ah, we'll try it. We'll try it. Okay. I'm just hoping I don't flip my thing. I've, I've managed to like roll this thing every single time coming over here. Now, if you're playing with multiple people, it's not too bad because they can un like, they can unflip you or there is a, um, there's like an upgrade. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to shift it into low gear here. And, uh, we're going to go in low gear across this. Um, if you're playing with other people, they can flip you, and there is like an actually a, a winch upgrade to where you can't go in reverse in low gear though, unfortunately. That will allow you to flip over, like if you're still upside down. But as far as this one goes, if I'm if I roll upside down, I cannot use my winch to get unstuck. So I have to like respawn at my garage, which is not super close by. So I don't, I don't want to roll if I don't have to. 
Oh, we got some, we got some good mud coming up here. Do I even need to lock in the diff for it? No, darn it. Some spots are really bad. Some spots um, can can get really rough. I've had this thing up to like the bottom of the windows, going through like um, going through like puddles and things. Or well, I guess they're not puddles at that point, are they? <laughs> they're, they're like lakes, uh, and it's just super fun. So you gotta be careful though, because some vehicles you can't do that. This one actually has a snorkel equipped with it, so you you are okay to go into uh, some deeper water without stalling the engine. So I just realized that this mud puddle that we just went through was actually my turn. <laughs> I actually need to go this way. <laughs> so I kind of went past a little bit. It's fine. All right, so we got to squeeze through here. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a rolling spot right here. You got this rock and that drop off right there. Oh, jeez. All right, come on. Come on, we can crawl. We can crawl right over it. We'll be fine. Oh man, I'm going to roll this thing. I just want the upgrade. I don't even know what the upgrade is. I just want it. Uh, so you get these upgrades throughout the maps, and that's actually how you unlock upgrades for for whatever vehicle. So I don't even know if this upgrade is going to be for this vehicle. It's probably not because this one's kind of maxed out. Alrighty, uh, this is the the DLC one. But for your other vehicles that you want other upgrades and things like that for, this is this is the way you go through and unlock those. Hello, Mister Upgrade. What do we have here? What do you have? Get upgrade. What do we got? Upgrade obtained. Uh, oh shoot. Nope. Uh, raised is available for purchase. So, um, I didn't actually look through the thing, but it looks like we up upgraded it. We got to unlock for, uh, some lifts for some vehicles possibly. Now I got to figure out, uh, how to get down from here. Uh, we could just go down the hill, but if I do that, there's a good chance I'm going to flip and I need to go here. So we're going to take, uh, we're going to take this road back. I want to mark it out so I don't get lost this time. Oh, now it's morning. We can actually see. So in single player, you can actually skip time on multiplayer. You cannot. Um, and I kind of forgot that because I've been playing multiplayer so much. But now we can actually see what we're doing. This is super nice. I mean, you know what, though? There is there is some fun with doing it at night because like you can see some stuff. Also, there is a first person mode and some of the challenges actually require you to stay in first person to, to complete the challenge. And I'm going to tell you right now, first person is rough. It's cool. But oh, is it hard because you can't see all the stuff around you as well? As you can, like, you know, third person outside the uh, outside the vehicle. Oh, my gosh. This is a tight squeeze. Oh, man. I can't imagine if we were trying to get, like, a, a big semi truck or um, a straight truck or something through here. Oh, my gosh. It'd be so rough. All right. Let's see. Are we going this way now? Wonderful. And now we're back on a main road. There's not a lot of these. Not a lot of main roads in this game. Is that the watchtower literally right there in front of us? It is. I can see it from here. Oh man, how do we get there? Oh, I'm super excited. Okay, so uh, water over road. It sounds like a good time to me. Uh, what is this? Task zone. This is a task zone. You have to enter it to accept the task to get into additional information. Okay. I don't know why it's telling me all these hints now. Uh, show task. Rock slide. I've got a rock slide problem. The rocks keep they keep knocking out our infrastructure, but we don't have the resources to stop them. I'll be sure grateful if you could take a look, except, okay, cool. Uh, rock slide activated. So what are we doing? Uh, what is this one? So I believe this is a task rock slide. Do we just have to go look at it? I don't know. Let's get the watchtower unlocked first. All right. I got a little bit of water here. Nothing too bad. How deep is it? How, how deep is this mud? Oh yes. Now we're in the good stuff. I don't even think we're gonna have to lock in the differential for this though. I'm throwing low. <laughs> That's not that bad. Oh, it gets so much worse than that. All right, let's get our watchtower activated. Launch it. Oh, very nice. Now we should have upgrade location discovered. So we should have pretty much the entire map. Now there are some little areas in here that are like kind of grayed out. But um, yeah, we have all the watchtowers undone, which is super nice. I kind of wish with the last watchtower, though, it would just go ahead and highlight everything on the map. Um, okay, so what do we have over here? We have a stuck trailer. So you can uh, get trailers unstuck and bring things out and things like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Riverside Repair. What is this? A Scout 800? Ooh, that's kind of nice. So we already have... The, the thing we're driving is essentially a Scout. It's it's the uh, overseas variant of it. All right, so this actually works out perfect because that rock slide, uh, it looks like it's actually fairly easy. We need one metal plank and one service part, and the service part happens to be, hold on. 
Oh no, it's that place. Um, <laughs> getting over here is a, is a fun one. All right, so we'll do that. We'll go over here, we'll get service parts, and then we'll go get planks from here, or metal, yeah, metal planks, and then we'll deliver them up here. Now, um, I want to just go back to my garage now. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit V, and I'm just gonna recover this vehicle. That's gonna take me right back to the garage. It fills it up, fixes everything, wonderful. We're gonna get out our international pay star for this guy. So we'll go ahead, we'll deploy, uh, deploy, boom, good to go. Let's go ahead, we'll leave the garage. Wonderful, wonderful. So this guy is equipped with a loading crane and a flatbed. Um, so I need the metal service parts, but this also has all wheel drive and differential lock. So you're, you're gonna get different vehicles in the beginning. Uh, this one, I pretty much sold like, I went out and found vehicles because you can go out and find vehicles, claim them and stuff like that and repair them. Uh, but I went out and found them and then I just sold them to get this guy because this guy's uh, much better than, than what, you, what you get from the beginning. So we have to make our way all the way over here, wonderful. And uh, yeah, going through mud with this guy is a little bit trickier. And then the passage that we're about to go through is, uh, well, it's it's muddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at all this goodness right here. Okay, so I'm pretty much stuck. So I'm gonna throw it into the low. We're gonna throw all wheel drive on. We're gonna throw the diff on. And we should be able to crawl through this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just, <laughs> just crawling through it. Now you guys might be like, well, this is called Snow Runner. And that's because the other two maps are completely snow based. Now, you're probably gonna wanna start off, we're playing in the Michigan map where it's not so much snow. Oh gosh, this is, this one, <laughs> this one might get stuck, I don't know. Uh, you might, you're gonna wanna start off probably in Michigan just so you can get some, uh, some vehicles unlocked and some upgrades and things like that. Oh my gosh, holy moly. We might have to use a winch, maybe not. I mean, we're crawling through it. Ooh, we're slowing down though. Oh, we're slowing down. <laughs> There's so much water here. <laughs> it's just flowing. All right, we're making it. We're making it. No problemo. Um, but yeah, the other maps, they're, they're completely snow covered and they are a little bit more difficult. So you might, you're probably gonna want to start off in Michigan, get some things unlocked so you can prepare yourself to, uh, to start playing in the snow. Cause we did that. We started playing in the snow and we're like, Ooh, we are not prepared for this. Uh, a little bit of water. We'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Oh my gosh. It's so deep. Oh, I think. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Come on. Oh. Oh, we almost got, we almost got stuck. Almost. Not quite. We're fine. Oh, this is super deep. Oh, I don't remember the water level being this deep. All right, we should be good. We should be fine. We should be able to crawl right out of here and get to where we need to go, no problem. Now, you know what's funny is we have to come back here too. <laughs> we have to come back through this way with a load of stuff on the bed. Oh, we made it. All right, look at us throwing mud absolutely everywhere. <laughs> it's great. All right, so we are picking up, I believe the service spare parts here. Um, you know what? I wonder if we could just, might just be able to connect to, uh, we might just be able to get the, the metal planks here too. I don't know if we can do that. So let's go into cargo management. Uh, so we have bricks. I don't need bricks. Concrete, service parts, metal planks. So let's grab, uh, one service parts. Oh, we don't have enough space. Okay. Cause metal planks take up a whole load. All right. Well, that's no fun. Uh, so we'll do that. I wonder if, wonder if there's something else that requires something from here that we could deliver at least one of to them. All right, not really seeing anything, so we're just taking this with us. We're just taking this one. Kind of seems like a waste to only have one thing, not even be fully loaded, but you know, I will. It is what it is. So, uh, oh, we could hook onto a trailer. Um, I don't know if I wanna try pulling a trailer through this. I don't, I don't wanna try pulling a th trailer through this because we can get the metal planks elsewhere, I do believe. Hold on, let me, let me make sure here. Because we're doing rock slide. So yeah, we can get metal planks from right here and then just deliver right there. That'll be so much easier. All right, cool. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's get back through the mud and let's deliver these service parts. Oh gosh, punch it, punch it. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, this is gonna this is gonna be a fun one. Oh, we got a load. So we have a load on our our trailer now. So that means we can either 
it'll either a help us because it give us a little bit more weight to like push through the stuff or b it's gonna give us a little more weight and we're just gonna sink <laughs> i don't know we'll have to see uh, oh this is gonna be interesting though this is gonna be interesting oh this is super deep right here <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh we're still trucking we're still trucking i already have all-wheel drive activated and it look oh no we're still going we're still going we sunk into the axles but we're fine i think we're gonna be good Ooh, ooh, that's nasty that is some nasty nasty stuff right there <laughs> oh my gosh oh we did it we made it okay all right uh i think that that one might have been the worst one i think all right let's turn that diff off let's go back into full speed now i think we can go i think we can go a little bit faster this rest this way all right maybe that one wasn't the worst one maybe this is the worst one oh geez just go just go Ooh, did a little bit of damage we're fine all right do we need to lock it in low and yeah, probably yeah we're gonna have to all right put in low throw that diff lock on we'll crawl right through this oh jeez. <laughs> oh this is so much fun yes we made it <laughs> So this is our garage right there. What do we need to pick up? Oh, there's a trailer right there that we can pick up. Uh, we don't need to pick that up right now. Whew. Very nice. We did it. We did all the things. All right. Now we just got to go deliver this to the other side of town. But I don't think there's... I don't think we're going to have any issues. Nothing like what we just went through. We should be pretty smooth sailing now. Uh, small puddle. Oh, uh, yeah. Not even an issue. Barrier signs. Not a thing. We can go right through this. Splash. No problem. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll put the all-wheel drive on. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, we're going to grab gas while we're over here, too, because <laughs> we're, uh, we're a little low. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's get, some, let's get some fuel. Now, fuel is completely free, um, and that's because, well, I mean, if you had to worry about an operating cost, if you had to worry about an operating cost, uh, it would kind of take some of the fun because you'd be like, well, is that contract even worth it? Because if I sit there for so long and burn so much fuel, you know what I mean? I mean, it adds to the realism, but I think that kind of takes away from the point of the game. The point of the game is, you know, get try not to, well, get stuck and then get unstuck. Because you try to get stuck, but then you want to get unstuck while delivering stuff. So uh, this is our first load of things, and this should clear this rock slide. So, I mean, ideally, it would be good to go through and try to knock out um you know repairing all the bridges and rock slides and things like that so you could use uh all the roads you don't have to worry about taking like side roads every everywhere you want to go all right here is our first load let's go and put the parking brake on cargo management uh and let's go to unload Boop. all right so now all we need is one steel beam so i should be able to pull up the uh or metal planks sorry pull up this guy rock slide uh we already did the uh, spare parts so we need to go right here it looks like town storage is gonna be uh gonna be the place to go and it's just right here look at look how close we are it's amazing this is this one's gonna be a nice easy one and some metal planks um auto load fantastic let's go ahead let's go deliver this bad boy and we'll get that blockage clear and we can actually use that road that is a lot of rocks to move but hey you know what who am I to judge? I delivered the stuff you guys enjoy. Uh, let's see. Unload. Boom, baby. Rocks cleared. We made $1,600. Awesome. Except our cashola's. <gasps> look at that. Now we can get through there. And uh, yeah, look at that. We can go through this way. Gateway to Smithville Dam. Ooh, see, I've never been over there. So we have all kinds, all kinds of places to go. But um, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna wrap up this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. So yeah, as you can see, we have the Bear River, the Smith Dam, Island Lake. There's there's just so many different places they can go to. Uh, this it looks like interesting. This one looks interesting. But Alaska, Alaska looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to get like into this one and play that one. But I want to get some things done here first, you know, and just to make sure that we have uh, you know, the proper equipment and things like that. But um. That is going to end it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. That guy's totally snoozing right there. Here. There. <laughs> Wake up! He gets super angry. Um, but yes, like, subscribe, all the fun things. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below. Make sure you use Z1 Gaming at checkout anytime you're on Epic Games. Shoots a little bit back towards me. I do appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.